Oh, it's got the moist blades, knife maker. I've had a few people having a guess as to the type of wood that this handle is because I've been able to get a really nice colour out of this wood and I thought I'd put it out there, have a guess as to what wood that is. I've had some really good guesses, Sapile being one of them, but it's a lot simpler than that. Beautiful, dark, deep, ready brown. And the answer is it's simply stabilized redwood, but this is the double stage uh, coloring that I did. If you remember a few months back when I put a double dip stabilization process, this is the result. You start off with wood just like that, you give it two goes, and then when you've buffed it and machined it and hand sanded it, and then you finish it off, this is what you get. I call that a result. So thanks for all the guesses. Worth a try. I've got some more on the go now that are tagging along with another lot, only getting the one stage. So they've had their first dip, a few of them, and then obviously to make use of the rest of the space in the vessel, I've put other ones in that are getting their first go, and the ones that have had their first dip are now getting their second go probably very complicated for anybody who's new to the channel I stabilized the wood so that wood that is simple and not very resilient I'm able to impregnate it with a stabilizing resin it makes it far more resilient um, and it stops it warping absorbing moisture cracking it basically plasticizes the wood um, so this is thing that I was doing with the subscribers, the people who have tagged along with the, the channel and follow what I do, I just put it out there, have a guess, see what wood that was, to get that colour depth out of that wood to begin with. Really impressed. So if that's encouraged anybody else to have a go, um, I just had some stabilisation fluid that I put a uh, red pigment, plus it had a hell of a lot of um, the resins, etc., from you, Purple Heart, Iroco. Um, there was a load of red and dark colours in there anyway that gave the hint to you. I always ended up with really deep uh, orange, lustrous, uh, sort of burnt, sort of flavour looking you, and it was really nice. Well, I cranked it up, and now I can get that. Out of that. Thanks for joining me. Scott Wessex Blades out. Anybody wants to follow what I do, obviously subscribe. Would help. You know, okay, a couple more videos for you to catch up with me. Um, I'll try and link the one with the videos as a as a choice. Uh, so you can you can catch up to see what I'm on about with this double dipping. Um, and you can see just how much work's involved. It's twice as much work as doing the normal stabilization which is a lot of work. Okay, um, it basically gets more out of the wood uh, to end up with a far more impressive outcome um, on knives that are handmade. It's pointless cutting all the hours, hand making, hand finishing, hand this, hand that, if you just gonna slap a piece of pine on it. And no liner, and use cheap epoxy, like five minute, 199 down the, down the Dollar General or something. This is, really high quality wood that's been seasoned in home I've weighed it and there's no more loss of weight so it's seasoned I'm kiln drying it basically in an oven so it's purged all the moisture then I'm putting it in the um, the stabilization fluid um, and then I'm oven curing that and then I'm machining that and then once I've got that flat then I'm putting a liner on it it's got a beautiful color so that's got a red G10 liner on it, that's that element color there you've got just to pop the colors as well and put a lovely little flavor down alongside the metal blade so it gets that, it also gets a far better bond because if you just slap wood onto metal you can key it and scratch it up but you get a far better bond if you glue the metal to a liner and then the liner to the wood 
it stays together better if that makes sense so it's a little clue everybody's new to the channel just how much goes into making a handmade knife not just buying everybody else's does this sort of thing okay so Jack Law Red Pathus, Dirty Room Knives, Dorset Woodland Blades, York Knife. There's loads of us all doing this thing. We're plowing hours and hours into making blades just that little bit more. Better than we made last year, but far more effort than just slapping a piece of wood on a blade. So thanks for joining me again, Scott Wessex Blades. And I uh, can't wait to see what this next batch has been. There's some burrow in there.